In the studio now we have us on this special live broadcast from Four Ways in Johannesburg, uh, dealing with the tourism industry, is the man himself, the new tourism minister, Derek Hanekom. And uh, we were saying earlier in the show, you had quite a tortuous journey here today. Yeah, we did. Um, the new old tourism minister, right? The new return <laughs> <laughs> tourism, tourism minister, right? minister. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, absolutely. We, um, we weren't anticipating it. We got stuck, and I'm told, but I don't have the information, that it was related to a funeral of, of one of the Uber drivers who somehow was murdered or killed in the course of this taxi violence, which is obviously really unfortunate, mm. but that was the holdup. Okay, okay. Well, and now you're here safely. I mean, one of the questions we talked about in the first half is that in the State of a Nation address, a uh, new president, Sil Ramaphosa, said he wants tourism jobs to double from 700,000 uh, to uh, one and a half million, which is great. It's good that he's taking it seriously, but surely it's going to be a very difficult job to see through. Yes, but not maybe not as difficult as you might believe it could be. Uh, if we do the right things, we think it's quite doable. Um, whatever we, we do in tourism, as in increased uh, uh, arrivals, translates into a large number of jobs because it's an employment intensive industry. So the thing that we have to do is to, uh, both on the domestic tourism front, which is, has its own challenges, but mostly on the international tourism front, which is in a way more the product of our marketing endeavors and the removal of the obstacles. Because the president also spoke about removing the regulatory barriers. So we've got to make international tourists, travelers, want to come to South Africa through good marketing, and we've got to make it easier for them to come to South Africa. And if we do these things, we can get huge increased numbers of people coming to South Africa because our product, our offer is a good one, is essentially a good one. The hotels that we have, the accommodation we have, and the offerings, the variety of offerings that we have, make South Africa a very attractive destination. So the key challenges for us intensified marketing and making it easier for people to get here and it does translate into large numbers of jobs so we believe in the next few years we could indeed double the number of jobs which would make a huge difference to our big challenge of unemployment in our country and minister i imagine that one of those concerns would actually be <coughs> this uber meter taxi crisis yes it is a department of transport issue but a lot of foreigners when they come here they do use the likes of your yeah. ubers to get around so a coordination between government departments like the department of transport and the department of home affairs will be very key in you achieving your jobs target ambitions very much so. I mean, I, I think our relationship with the Department of Transport, I'll get on to Home Affairs in a moment, mm -hmm. critically important because it's not only about Uber, it's, it's about air links uh, between South Africa and other countries, di di direct routes where possible, uh, but, but strengthening the, the air links because it's, it's part of the package of making it easier and more affordable for people to come to South Africa and more convenient. And then the other part of it would be, yes, taxis like Uber, and then, and then the tour buses and how they operate and the regulations affecting tour buses, those are essential items for our discussion with the Department of Transport, very important. The other one, as you correctly say, is the Department of Home Affairs because it's that visa regulatory environment that is critically important. Um, there are, we, we started that process, as you know, a couple of years ago. There are still a number of outstanding issues that would have to be the subject of our engagement, our interaction with the Department of Home Affairs, notably the, the continued uh, regulations impacting on um, children or minors coming to South Africa, the so-called unabridged birth certificates. And then and the other part of it is making it easier for people in visa requiring countries to get their visas. And then thirdly, looking very carefully at you know, which countries need visas and which don't. Uh, we, we, we have information right in front of us when the visa requirement for Russia was waived. Uh, what we saw last year was an increase of over 50% of travelers from Russia to South Africa. Hmm. By contrast, when a visa was introduced to New, Ze New Zealand, we saw a 17% decline. Hmm. And the only reason for the decline in the numbers from New Zealand was the visa requirement. So therefore, the engagement with the Department of Home Affairs is really critically important. And I have to ask the question, I mean, Home Affairs too has got a return minister, as you know, Malusi Gagawa, the former yeah. uh, finance minister. Uh, 
How, how's, what's your relationship with How do you work with him? I mean, what's the feeling you're getting at this stage in negotiations? I mean, one to one on a personal level, level we have a very good relationship. I do believe in the same way as my, my period of not being in tourism has allowed me to reflect and, uh, on a number of things. I think his period as being the Minister of Finance also had value, I have no doubt whatsoever. And I think he's undoubtedly, but also given the challenges that we face today and the, the very budget which he had to present, mm. given the revenue decline, etc., that the gro economic growth is critically important. Mm -hmm. I think that he, he, is, he has thoroughly embraced and so he would be as concerned as all of us to do whatever is necessary, including in these regulatory mechanisms, to, to achieve growth where we are able to achieve growth. So I think he would come in there with the advantage of it having been somewhere else for a period. I mean, of course, we still have our other guests, uh, Machachi Ramuela um. and uh, Clifford Ross here with us. I mean, in your roles, uh, how would you know government, or how could government possibly make it easier for you guys to fulfill on your mandates? I mean, Machachi, beginning with you. Well, very simply, as the minister said, I think the biggest uh, uh, request uh, that we will really like uh, for government, and the minister knows this, is really an, uh, you know, a coordinated approach to support tourism within government. Because as I said earlier on, in, you know, there is nothing that any um, department in government does that doesn't affect tourism. One can look at the department of uh, COGTA, for instance, of, of traditional affairs and thinking that what they, what they do uh, doesn't affect our industry. It does affect it. For instance, right now, you know, one of the topical issues on the street is land expropriation. You know, that will, will in, in, you know, have some element of traditional leaders being involved in it. Definitely it affects us. You know, a lot of our, our products, our natural products in terms of the game reserve, the national parks, are out there in, 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 in areas where maybe issues of land expropriation will, may, may come into the picture. You know, for the, the, other, the, the other department, for instance, the department treasury, you know, you know, they may sit there and say, we only look to them for money only, but we, we money and other money-related issues. You know, one of the challenges we're facing uh, right now is a, it's, it's our uh, travel agencies and tour operators have a big vet issue uh, that we're going to be knocking at the minister's door to be able to lead us into meeting with Treasury to address those challenges. Uh, that is affecting the pricing uh, and affordability very eventually of, of South Africa's tourist offerings. You know, okay. so we really, really uh, are going to be knocking at mini our minister's door uh, to. to address those issues of transport with Minister uh, uh, Bladen Zimande and all related parties. Well, the Minister did say that he is uh, back and ready from his sabbatical. But before we go to a quick break, Clifford, quick comment from you regarding, you know, what government could do to make your job as private sector a lot easier. I was very pleased to see the Minister back again. Um, because in, uh, in his previous, uh, previous time as, uh, as Tourism Minister, we addressed many, many issues uh, which were affecting the, uh, the industry and uh, we, we were certainly starting to take strides in, uh, in getting these, uh, um, certainly the regulatory environment um, more conducive for the industry and to bring people into, into South Africa. So it was really great to hear that uh, home affairs is, uh, is on top of the list because they, those certainly are some of our biggest obstacles which we have as an industry um, is the, the visa regulations, uh, immigration at the airports uh, and, and the likes. And uh, it's, it's great to hear that we're, uh, we're going to be back on that track again of, uh, of trying to streamline uh, the, the regulatory um, system for our industry uh, going forward.